Grand Rising community. I hope everyone woke up with love, peace, and harmony, and nothing but abundance on their mind. Song playing right now, I'll be there for you. You're all I need to get by by Method Man and Mary J. Blige. You're all I need to get by. Uh, Y'all, that used to be my fucking shit. Man, that video used to go fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? Man, when that dude had stole her some tampons, bro, I was like, man, bro, the struggle is real, but you a real ass nigga for that. Oh, y'all, channel messages. I got some sh Hope y'all got y'all water. I got my water, and guess what? It's some spirits around me. Ooh, mount up. I'm telling you, it's mount up, y'all. We about to make history, bro. I'm telling y'all, we about to make history. If y'all don't feel it, then I don't know what to tell you, but open yourself up and allow yourself to feel it. Tell yourself we about to make fucking history. Shout out to... Today is Memorial Day, but this Memorial Day shout-out is going to be a little motherfucking different. I'm not giving a shout-out to those who battled on Earth's land for stolen inheritance, for greed, for power, control. The people didn't know what they was fighting for. So my heart go out to y'all who actually served this wicked-ass world in militaries and stuff. You didn't know no better. You didn't know it was a bigger picture behind the scene. It never was to to fucking for the safety of us or for the better of us it was just all behind greed and control you know what i'm saying so you know shout out to y'all too you didn't know any better but this memorial day shout out is for our ancestors who are no longer here with us i'm talking about our royal bloodline that lives within us they was fucking warriors. They was fighters to the fucking end. It was a different kind of fucking battle they was doing. It was a battle between good and wicked. We have fucking forefathers and foremothers before us that's no longer here today. And I'm not talking about your, your immediate family, your fucking mom and your dad. I'm talking about real fucking gods and goddesses that lived within you that lives inside of you that channels for you that speaks through you that guides your footsteps i'm talking about those ones happy memorial day for the ancestry line that's out here motherfucking help us bring justice to this world do you hear me i told y'all the other day that i picked up on some justice league type shit and I'm like, come on. Now nah, it's like, yeah, man, we really doing this shit. We, we real warriors out here. So shout out. Happy Memorial Day to all my motherfucking warriors out here. I'm talking about God's motherfucking military is stronger than any other fucking man-made military joint forces together. They can't fuck with it. You can put all the militaries around the motherfucking world to join forces to try to take God's creation and it ain't going to fucking happen. Once again, it was a nice run, but you didn't win the race. Get on back. Shout out to Memorial Day to all us soldiers and shit. Our forefathers, our foremothers who died before us. To the gods that live in you. To the goddesses that live in you. Happy Memorial Day to all y'all strong forces of energy, man. Y'all the true warriors, bro. Y'all deserve to be fucking saluted. Y'all deserve a day. And it's so fucked up how wicked this world is because we don't have not one fucking holiday for our descendants, our ancestors, the people who died before us. We don't have one day that called that actually say Ancestor Day. We don't have one holiday that actually say Angels Day. We don't have not one holiday to actually say God's day. Not none of that shit. But y'all, it's okay though, because the messages God got for me, see this little holidays that, that's coming up? Not the memorial holiday, that rainbow holiday. They even fucking have a holiday. Hey, listen, I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody. Who can save everybody? I'm just a messenger, you hear me? And I'm here to tell y'all that some shit gonna go down on that holiday, the next holiday. Yep, it sure did. That was the channel message I got yesterday, but I didn't make a video of it. I just, you know, kind of 
get a whole list of things so I can run to you. So I don't know. Y'all try to avoid those rainbow uh, parades and uh, celebrations and shit because they did let me know some shit about to go down. Straight up. Some shit is going down on the next holiday. Um, other channel message. Messiah is here. The truth of our inheritance is about to be delivered to us. I We about to inherit the, the riches of heaven. That's what I heard. We are about to Look, take me to the king plan right now. Ooh, child, take me to the king. Ooh, what? Let me turn this up so y'all can understand. Truth is, I'm tired. What? Ooh, boy, I just had them chills go through my body. And I'm sitting up here talking about the Messiah is here and take me to the king was playing. Y'all better let that, ooh, y'all better let God flow through y'all. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, that felt so good. Ooh, it felt so good. Ooh. Messiah is here. The Messiah is here. The truth shall be heard. They could no longer hide it. The truth will be heard by all, by all, by all creation. And we will inherit the riches of heaven. Us chosen ones shall inherit the riches of heaven. Also, channel message I got is this place about to be restored. God is about to restore this place. This place about to go back to the Garden of Eden. This place is about to go back to the paradise God created for us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Take me to the king so I can thank him. <laughs> What? I thank ya. Ooh, y'all better let that roll through. Y'all, I'm going to keep trying to zip this up, but it's not me trying to show my cleavage. It just keep busting open. I guess God, like, shoot, show what you made of. <laughs> um, also, pay attention to this one. This one was a dream. My visions, my channel measures is just as strong as my fucking dreams. And them dreams be real shit. All of it is real shit. But to actually experience it, like to actually astro travel and to see in some shit. Boy, bro, these motherfuckers is sick. Pay close attention to this channel message I'm about to give y'all. They want me to tell y'all to avoid trips. Avoid trips that all of a sudden come out the blue. Like a click of girls want to say, oh, let's take a girl's trip. Or a click of your homeboys want to say, say, bro, let's go on this family trip. Or even click a fucking family all of a sudden want to get together on a family trip and go avoid that motherfucker. If you can. Now, if you choose to go, I'm just going to let you know some shit going to happen. You're going to see some shit. You're going to see some fucking shit. And then you're going to be like, man, that fucking lady, this shit was, this shit was designated for me. And that fucking lady was telling the truth. And your family, them, or whoever it is you're going with, going to all have a fucking look because they can't shit happen to you. They can't fuck with you, but it's going to happen to somebody else. And they all going to be stuck with that look. And you're going to know then that, damn, this is that fucking message that lady was trying to fucking tell me. Y'all know we got to be extra careful at this time. We are so fucking... We don't cross that finish line. The thing is now, we don't already cross the finish line. You know how they wait for the scores to come in and wait for you to get up on your podium and get your trophy and all this other stuff? That's what we're waiting on now. We're rallying in the numbers now. We don't already cross that fucking finish line. Doesn't matter. People still gonna hate. You know, after a race been won, you're fucking the ones that lost, the, the sore losers, the ones that don't show good sportsmanship, they gonna steady try to be fucking dirty. They gonna do pussy ass shit. I done saw pussy ass shit in some of the professional games. I'm like seeing shit on when I used to watch the basketball games. Motherfuckers can't when they lose, they can't go up and shake the next hand team. They go in the locker room crying and shit. I'm like, are these grown ass men or bitches? I mean, make up your mind. You a whole fucking NBA player and you and you sour right now. They don't even look like. Why would any woman wanna fuck with a dude that's 
broadcasting all around the fucking world poor sportsmanship. That ain't no fucking man. Bitch, man the fuck up and motherfucking take your loss. You win some, you lose some, man the fuck up. That's how these people are. They're not going to man the fuck up. They sore losers. Sore losers. Poor sportsmanship. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this trip. This dream. Oh, we got some pretty ass motherfucking divine feminine in this bitch. Pretty girl rock is on right now. And I was just talking about them haters. You know the story behind her. You know the story behind Carrie Hilson. She was supposed to come out and be big. She said one bitch name. And that one bitch took that lady whole motherfucking career. And that one bitch, her career about to be over with. Because that's one of the motherfucking demons in disguises too. That do rituals too. Fuck that hoe. Huh. Y'all about to see. Y'all about to see. Y'all about to see. I know that I know that demon very well because that demon love fucking with me. Tried to fuck with me. It's over with for that hoe. I ain't gonna say no names, but that bitch know what's up. Um what else? Um about this dream, y'all. <laughs> y'all better know who y'all celebrity enemies are too, bro. They got your blood in them. They they needed your blood, but now y'all done start calling back. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, and them rituals ain't working on these hoes now. So, <laughs> they can't reach out to a stranger and say, hey, I need you, because she then, you know, that'll that'll be awkward as fuck. They'll, they'll spoil the whole shit, but see, God bless people like, people like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines that have a psychic flame in them, so they can already know what the fuck they doing behind closed doors. Bitch, you ain't had to expose your hands. Bitch, I can expose your hands. That's the gift God gave me. So I know what you fuckers done. And I know what you've been doing. It's over with. Once again, it was a nice race. It was. It was. I got to get that to you. But you didn't win this, bitch. It was good entertainment, though. Y'all did a damn good job. Now it's the gods and goddess season. Fuck out the way. Fuck out the way. Whew. Y'all, them channel messages like, oh, whoo. Oh, y'all got to understand that we done crossed the finish line. We still got motherfuckers mad because we won. <laughs> Go ahead on and get back on your school bus and dry the fuck off to no existence, bitch. Because you about to be wiped from everybody's memory real soon. People going to really forget about these people, bro. Your memory going to be wiped clean. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's about to come to a point where y'all going to be like, who? Who? I don't know. Our grandkids gonna be in school learning, learning about the wicked that 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 don't live on this earth. No, <laughs> they gonna be learning about real gods and goddesses. They not gonna be in school learning false motherfucking history. They not gonna be in schools getting teach false fucking history. Our motherfucking grandchildren, great grandchildren, our generations to come gonna learn about real gods and goddesses like it was supposed to be from the fucking beginning. Let me get about these people tell y'all about this dream. Y'all better be careful if y'all going on these trips, bro. This dream. Ooh, we is so fucked up. Okay, first of all, song playing right now. I wish it would rain. Oh, some rain coming to y'all. Nah, y'all know I've been channeling them dreams of like a lot of fucking water just rising. Y'all know I've been channeling that shit like water coming, bro. Like a lot of water rising. A lot of water is rising, bro. A lot of water going to rise this earth. But um, so this dream, it's like a group vacation or a trip, something like that. I don't know. I know. I don't know whether it was a water park that y'all went to. Some type of amusement park that involved water. Um... Or was it like a a cruise ship trip? I don't know. There's something else. Avoid cruise ships. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. But after I tell you the story, I'm gonna tell you why those cruise ships are sacrifices. They sacrificing innocent people, bro. Uh, it's demons that lives in those waters too, and they 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 do that shit to them people intentionally, bro. But listen, in my dream, I'm with a group of people. And honestly, these these it was a group of girls, 
But these females, I really didn't even fucking recognize. That's how distant them bitches is. So for me not to even recognize them hoes, this is very, this is a red flag on avoiding this fucking trip. Because you just don't go out with nobody on no trip like that that you don't even recognize them hoes. But you know they was your, but they, I knew they was my friends in the dream, right? So one um, attraction we was at, it was like a lot of water, like the see-through pool. I don't know whether it was... It was like a ride or was it a fucking cruise ship? But I'm standing here looking at this see-through pool and I'm looking at like this boat or something like that that's in this pool. Anyway, a fucking man went over. And it wasn't like the man just went over. It was like the force that went, that that threw this man over was so fucking painful because I'm watching everything. It's like, I'm just like, I'm seeing the wicked being done because where I was standing at, I wasn't even with the crowd. I'm just literally in my dream just watching this shit take place. And I'm like, and my heart is just fucking, and I'm just calm, but I'm watching all these fucking enemies try their last fucking shit. So I'm watching this man being thrown up off this motherfucking ride. And the pool, remember, is see-through. So on this side of the pool, it was like a rock fucking wall. So the when the man fell into the fucking pool, like this is this the man diving, y'all. This the man diving. And this is the fucking brick wall that's in this pool because this pool had it like it was like a real fucking like a uh, rocks and stones and fucking coral. So they had it kind of looking like it's something that be, would be underwater. But the man hit it. And when he hit it, his head hit it, and it knocked him out. I'm looking at the man going down, and I'm panicking. I can hear the scribe screaming like, it's a man, it's a man over, it's a man over. But when this man hit his head on the wall, he slid down. It was a man. Y'all, something came and grabbed that man so motherfucking quick and took that man off. It was not of the sea. I'm telling you, it wasn't, it wasn't your typical whale. It wasn't your typical shark. It was no fucking dolphin. It was a fucking swimming fucking demon. I'm telling you, it was a demon under that motherfucking water. And I said, dirty bitches. I said, dirty motherfuckers. These motherfuckers sacrificing people on these motherfucking uh, trips, bro. They feeding these motherfuckers. It's no coincidence that these people is keep going over motherfucking board. Man, knock it off. Knock it off. Man, the motherfucking cruel shit with the power invested in me. Man, all them bitches shut the fuck down. With the power invested in me, everything them bitches earned, gained, material, wealth, every fucking thing. May God strip them naked. Every last one of them motherfuckers. May God grant every last one of them loved ones revenge on them bitches to see that them bitches go down. May their very own creation of life be removed from them wicked motherfuckers. Do you hear me? So shall it is and so shall it be. With the power invested in me, my will shall be done. Ain't no way them bitches gonna get away with that, bro. It ain't no way them bitches gonna get away with that. There's no way you bitches gonna get away with that. Fuck these cruise ships. If y'all got motherfucking... Listen, I know. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. Cancel them bitches out. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them all. Because when God show me something in my dreams, that shit is real. This is not just no motherfucking imagination playing tricks on me. That shit is real, bro. They sacrificing the fuck out of people. So anyway, as this dream goes on, after the after the over, this overboard situation, I'm like, okay, you don't hear nothing of what the fuck just happened. Everybody just thinking this man went over the water, but no one actually was able to see what I saw that was up under the water. See, they just think the man just went over. Nah, man, these people really fucking knock these. It's, like, it, it's some demons on the fucking cruise ships, bro. It's some demons on the fucking cruise ships that cannot even fucking put foot on this fucking land. So that's why the bitches work those cruise ships. Because the force that threw that man, it wasn't like man overboard. It wasn't no shit like that, y'all. This man just did not fucking dive. It was a force on that fucking boat 
threw that man so fucking hard, bro. So fucking hard, bro. That man head hit a rock. I'm witnessing this shit. And the man slid down and something so fucking... Man, that bitch was a demon, bro. That bitch was an ugly ass demon, bro. And when I tell you God about to trouble these motherfucking waters, God about to trouble these waters. Since these bitches want to sum up motherfucking dark fucking shit that live in them waters. Watch. Watch this bitch. Watch. 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 That's a promise. God done already gave me that promise. I saw that fucking rainbow. That was a promise. That day it was storming. When God told Noah to build that motherfucking ark. The rainbow was very significant to Noah. Oh, okay. Okay. Pay attention to the key messages. These people going down. So as the dream goes on, we was we ended up at a buffet place. The girls I was with, that was very distant from me. They wanted to go sit somewhere else. They didn't want to. It was like a whole bunch of funny acting shit. Like we went to go try to get food. They'll just walk away from me. I come to the table. It was no chair. I had to go find a fucking chair. And they had no chairs. And girl, I had to go through all kind of shit to find something to sit on. Everything was broke. Like the service was horrible. Like the chicks was being all nonchalant. Then when I came, finally found the chair. I came back to sit down and eat. To get something to eat. Like the food was gone. They was gone. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then that's when I said, oh, okay. Yeah. They mad because that, that sacrifice was for me. And they couldn't fuck with me. So they bitches mad because now they couldn't fulfill the job. So I said, okay. I said, everybody who even thought of fucking trying to sacrifice a chosen one, may they receive instant karma. May that very same thing happen to them. So shall it is and so shall it would be. That it would be. That it would be. So I got up out that dream, prayed over that shit, and laughed. Boy, I let out the biggest laugh. I laughed. I said, them bitches trying it, bro. And all God doing is steady exposing their hands to me. I ain't even sitting in that room with y'all when y'all having these motherfucking conversations or trying to sacrifice the motherfucking divine being, bro. I ain't sitting in that room with y'all. I ain't on that phone with y'all. I'm not. I'm not in y'all. I'm not attached to y'all emails. I ain't getting none of that motherfucking shit. But look at how God worked, though. Look at how God get, give us fucking psychic flame to fucking so we can know exactly how close our enemies are. So I'm just burning a little cinnamon, y'all, because that fucking dream just, you know. I'm just cleaning my cleansing my atmosphere and I love the bit smell of burnt cinnamon. Boy, burnt cinnamon smells so good. This is like natural incense to me, honestly. I just love a good smelling home. I love just listen. I just love it. And and to me, you can go get a whole bunch of like dry flowers, dry herbs, and use that as natural incense. If I mean, you know, if the other Incense have too much of um, perfume smells in it, and it kind of irritates you guys. If you have allergies or sinus issues, then don't. It's other stuff that you can use to uh, use as natural incense. Right here is a fucking cinnamon stick. I buy it in a big bag. I buy cinnamon sticks in a big bag and burn them. And I tell you what, once you start burning these good smelling motherfuckers, and then it's a whole lot cheaper than all that other shit. I mean... It's a whole lot cheaper to get a big bag of cinnamon sticks and burn them. And then they last long, too. They last so long. They last way longer than a pack of instant sticks. So I give all my kids cinnamon sticks to cleanse they um, run with them and just use as natural incense. I mean, it works all the time. I use a lot of natural stuff for incense, y'all. I do. It's like I make my own potpourri. I do. I have bay leaves in it, rosemary. You can use dry lavenders, all kind of dry flowers and herbs and stuff. Man, it smells so much better. I promise you it does. Yes, yeah, so y'all, please, to all my ones who, who uh, you probably get some last minute, hey, come on this trip with me. Especially these cruise ship, these cruise ship trips. Um, 
fuck them people. Don't go on that shit, bro. And if you if you still decide to go, I'm telling you, you can go, but you know, avoid it because you know you gonna you gonna the shit gonna make you feel the shit gonna make you feel real disgusting, bro. Don't nobody want to witness actually be on no ship and actually witness some strange ass shit like that taking place where a man going overboard and they just think the man just went overboard. Nah, man, it's demons on the motherfucking ships and they work on them ships. They work on them motherfucking ships. They time is up and they stand on them ships because them bitches know what's to come. And them some old ass demons on that bitch. That, them bitches know what is to come. And that motherfucker, those demons, that them fucking things that live in that water protects them. They know what is to come. That's why they on them ships thinking that they just gonna fucking sell the fuck off some motherfucking well when that day come. And that day is here. And you can't go nowhere. I don't know how many times I'm gonna keep preaching to people. It's not a motherfucking face on this earth gonna be able to hide from God's judgment. It's not an existence on this earth that's going to be able to hide from God's judgment. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead on and go in these cards because baby, that dream. Woo! Right now, what is plan? Oh, I just told y'all that it's not going to be a face that's going to be able to motherfucking hide from God's motherfucking judgment. Y'all, this is God's empire. Look what is playing now, conqueror. Conqueror. This is God's empire. <laughs> Yo, I just told y'all. Happy Memorial Day to God's motherfucking warriors out here. You feel me? Oh, I'm going to pop that bottle of uh, my emperor. Oh, I can't wait to pop his sex ass because my emperor got to come the fuck through. Oh, he got to come the fuck through. Jeez. I've been waiting too long. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> oh, wait, I ain't gonna sit here and stun. Shit. Oh, I never knew how strong I was till I had to be strong. Damn, this ring about to go hard. Death card pop out first. 13. Oh, conqueror. Conqueror. God coming up. I told y'all take me to the key. Oh, <laughs> take me to the key was playing. I told y'all. That man. This is the ending times for people, bro. The king is here. The king is here. Conqueror is playing. King God is here to claim his. God done conquered his empire. What? It's about to be some new shit. It's about to be some new beginnings for us. Oh, God done defeated the magicians. God done defeated the magicians. Do you hear me? <laughs> oh, God done defeated the, emperor, the magicians. They magic won't work. God said, take your fucking hands off my people. Let my people go. These bitches don't understand when God was sending them. <laughs> God sent Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. The bitches ain't listen. Them people ain't listen. Them people ain't listen and not look what they facing. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Man, this reading about to go fucking hard. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They... <laughs> Eight of Swords, them bitches dead. Them bitches can't grip it. Eight of Swords in reverse? Ooh. That same hand. Look, that same motherfucking hand that tried to catch all that fucking, doing all that wicked with. Now that same motherfucking hand, that wicked that they fucking manifested, that wicked that they manifested on God's one, about to really manifest, but it's about to go to them. Like I said, if y'all go on trips and a motherfucker try to sacrifice you, you're going to see some different shit because it ain't going to happen to you. It's going to happen to somebody else. Divine Feminine, if you're going on a trip with a fucking masculine that's, that you ain't you and that motherfucking relationship been rocky, don't trust that bitch because you're going to witness some shit. Somebody going to witness some shit if they go on these fucking trips because that shit going to come back to them. That shit gonna come back to them. Hey, look, fools. The motherfucking fools trying to motherfucking throw a motherfucking divine being in some dark ass motherfucking waters. 
Y'all better look at these cards. Trash man here. Trash man here. God is taking the trash out on these funky motherfuckers. <laughs> God is taking the trash out on these funky motherfuckers. Look, y'all. Fool in reverse. Fool in reverse. It's not going to happen. You cannot kill God's people. These bitches really tried it, too. That world is, yeah, they're going to have to hit the road. These people really fucking tried it, too. And it was a group of them. They could have got, yeah, these people probably got paid nine of coins. Nine of coins and four of ones. So it's going to be a click. Like I keep saying, in the dream, it was like a group. Somebody, these people thought they was going to be successful. It's going to, and I told you it was like a group of friends I was sitting around with. And it was like them bitches was nonchalant like a motherfucker with me. And in my mind, I'm like, fuck you hoes want me to come on this trip for if y'all acting out fucking funny. What the fuck up with y'all? Y'all acting all bougie. Y'all can't sit down and eat with me? Oh, okay. Fuck y'all hoes then. Then that's when I step back. I'm like, ooh. Somebody trying to set somebody up. Ain't gonna happen, Captain. Ain't gonna motherfucking happen, Captain. You tricky, dirty bitches. Fuck y'all and them trips. Man, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? Even a blind man could see that you bitches is about to go down. <laughs> even a blind man could see that you bitches about to go down, bruh. These are some people that really thought they had a chance. Stupid motherfuckers. I told y'all this reading was going to go hard. For it to start off with the death card as number one. <sighs> Somebody got to deliver the news. Somebody got to deliver the news. You damn right. You damn right. Somebody got to deliver the news. Sun up to sun down. This the empress, baby. Sun up to sun down. Y'all got to hit the road. Y'all can't fuck with her. Y'all got to hit the road. Y'all can't fuck with her. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing. This motherfucking empress going to be an empress during the sun and during the fucking moon, man. This empress is motherfucking divinely protected. This empress is fully balanced. This empress got her yin-yang on point. This empress got her fucking masculine and feminine in her straight fucking balance, bro. You need this empress. These bitches need us. They need our light. They need our sunlight and they need our motherfucking moon. Like these bitches need us. These bitches need us, but yet you're trying to take us out and it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. You can't fuck with the empress, bro. Stop playing. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all look what the empress causing these bitches. Three of swords in reverse. What the hand look like to y'all? What this is the resemble of? And plus, this is 3-3. Three, three. Christ conscious. The real star. Mm-hmm. You that star. The brightest star. Mm-hmm. What they thought? They thought that they can repeat some shit? No. That's the biggest lie they wanted, wanted y'all to fucking believe. That's the biggest lie. You can't kill a God. You cannot kill a God. Go sit down so fucking well. You cannot kill a God, man. And now these same people going to be begging and motherfucking pleading for their fucking dear life. And, and God, I told y'all God done took his hands off the wicked. There's no more fucking listening ear for the wicked. There's nothing the fucking wicked could say. These bitches going to suffer. And with the three of swords in reverse, they not only going to fucking suffer, it's going to be a repeated suffer. Man, these bitches heart about to be broken back to back to back to back. These bitches about to be heartbroken back to back to back from trying to sacrifice the motherfucking high priestess. Did I not just tell you this motherfucking high priestess just told them bitch, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, look at this.
with these dumb motherfuckers fucking with it. I can see clear and now the rain is gone. Man, this is a fucking high priestess empress, bro. Look at these two put together. That's a force. That is a force. That is a motherfucking force. You you are you are rainbow seeds out here, bro. You are whole fucking galaxies within a fucking vessel. You are whole galaxies within a vessel living right here on earth. These people live amongst gods and goddesses. These some ungrateful bitches. They live on our lands. They breathe in our air. They surviving out for our sunshine. They need our moonlight. Man, they need us. And a lot of y'all fucking tapped into that shit. Y'all know it. Y'all see fucking super clear, man. Like a magnifying glass. Y'all see super fucking clear, man. Y'all know who these motherfuckers are. Y'all know what's up. When you put these two people together, man, divine feminine and masculine, y'all know what's up out there. To my listening ears, y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know what time it is, bro. These people can't fuck with us. Now, when you put the high priestess, look, even a bird know what time it is. The bird knows some flood waters coming in on these people. <laughs> That's the truth. Ace some cups. Listen. Noah and his family was in that big ass ark living the best life ever. Do you hear me? No, we're not in those days no more. So you got to think outside the box. We just about to be living our best lives. We about to be in home. We about to be in a protected home. And what our ark stands for, our ark can stand for our homes. Our homes are going to be protected. I kid you no lie. When I say protection, I mean shielded. God not going to let nothing happen to you. It's going to be destruction all around this world, but you're not going to be affected by it. God going to make sure groceries is in your house. God going to make sure your lights is on in that mother. God going to make sure you have everything that you need, all the necessities that you need while these motherfuckers go through their hell. And you going to be living an abundant, happy life. No, it was in that bitch chilling. Man, man, could you imagine that? You in that bitch having everything that you motherfucking need, bro. Bills paid. What? Ain't no motherfucking bills. Ain't no going to motherfucking work. No, it wasn't that work. No, it was in his shit. We about to be, I'm telling y'all, it's about to be different. Why these motherfuckers go through their destruction? Because it's here and it's coming. It is, it's here. It is here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. The flood waters are here, baby. The flood motherfucking waters is here, and even nature know it. Pay attention to nature. When y'all go outside, y'all see animals preparing and shit. You seeing birds picking up extra straw and shit. You seeing them tighten they nest up. You seeing them getting the fuck out the way. You seeing squirrels motherfucking prepare. Pay attention to nature. Nature gonna let you know what's here. <laughs> Not the motherfuckers on that fake-ass news channel. The fake ass weathermen go sit down and prepare. Go put some boards on your motherfucking house. Get you some canoes. Get you a boat. Get you some water bottles. Some canned goods. Some batteries. Some candles. <laughs> Make sure you got a barbecue grill. A charcoal one. Because gas going to be hard to find. So I know y'all like y'all gas motherfucking grills. Fuck all that. Especially the bitches in California. You can't even motherfucking. Barbecue with a charcoal grill without the bitches calling the cops. Oh, yeah, I took my kids out there for a vacation one day. We got the cops called on us. I'm like, I know you lying. I know you motherfucking lying. And I'm saying to that bitch, I'm like, all right, you old bitch. It's going to come a motherfucking time where you're going to wish that motherfucking country ass lady was still next door to you with that fucking charcoal barbecue grill, bitch. And mark my words, you're going to see that day. Ooh. That bitch was going to see that day. <laughs> that bitch gonna see it soon. Because they little propane tanks gonna be getting stolen. People gonna be around this bitch doing up some stealing. We not gonna be involved in that shit. I can see they motherfucking last days just as motherfucking clear. And I can see our days too. And I'm telling you, this is our skies. This is our skies. You see this? It's complete darkness. Complete darkness. Ain't no sunlight, ain't no moonlight. So now y'all see what I'm talking about. What's coming to these motherfucking people. This gonna be us. And it's these people. And even nature see it coming. We gonna be living a good life. God gonna make sure we have everything. Every fucking thing that we need. Ooh, 
God going to take food from these people? God going to take resources for these people? These people won't even be able to burn fucking fire is what I'm hearing. God going to take the tree. Damn! God is going to take... These people going to be in complete darkness. These people going to be in complete darkness. Some floods is coming. Some flood waters is coming. They're not going to be able to light a fucking fire because it's flooded. So how you going to light firewood? They're not going to even have firewood. God going to take the crops and all. These people going to starve. They dog, man, but hey, man, in reverse. These from being lost souls. This from cho choosing darkness. This from choosing wicked. This from choosing money to sacrifice loved ones that's close to you. Like they said, money is the root to all evil. It ain't money the root to all evil. It's, it's what the fucking wicked would do for the love of money. Because you give me some money, I'm going to do some good things with it. So you can take that motherfucking shit back. Money ain't the root to all evil. It's the wickedness that lies behind that. It's the wicked fucking person that's choosing to sacrifice somebody for money. That's the shit that that's what's going to cause them bitches in great mother. Look at these bitches. Five of cups. Ooh, by themselves. By them lonesome motherfucking selves. Ooh, bro, the tree's not going to grow no fucking crops for these bitches. Damn. Ooh, these people going to fucking... Y'all, these people last days is going to be fucking horrible. Destruction going to be horrible, y'all. Damn. That's why God said, let, let me take the lead. Because a lot of us want to fuck people off ourselves with our own hands. And we can't, we, it's no, I mean, the shit that God is doing. That shit is strong. This shit is strong. This is a way worse of punishment than what we could ever perform. But God just needed us to wake up. God said, y'all are my ladies. Oh, come through. God said, you, you are my lady. God going to take, I just said, God going to say, let me take the lead. Oh, you're everything I want. Oh, I said it wrong? Okay. Okay, cause you are my lady, you're all I am, ooh, you are my lady, okay, God said go ahead on and tell the world you are my lady, God not playing behind us, you're everything I want and need, all right now, all right now. All right, now. Ooh, wee. Anything else? Let's see if we have anything else, y'all. It's probably it. <laughs> oh, if they ended on that darkness, that <laughs> Ooh, that's right. That's probably is. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ooh. Now they about to see how I feel when Bob Marley said, every time I plant a seed, they say, kill them and let them grow. Kill them before they grow. What they say, Marley? Every time I plant the seed, they say, kill them before they grow? Okay. Now they about to see how that same shit feel. Ain't nothing they gonna fucking put out gonna be successful. Ooh. I'm gonna leave it like that, y'all, because that's what they want to leave it on. Straight darkness. God said, giving you the best that I got. God about to give us the best that God got by Anita Baker. Ooh. Y'all. Shit, y'all. I knew that reading was going to be fucking serious. I knew that reading was going to be serious. I just fucking knew it. Because that shit was crazy as fuck. Yeah. So like I said, avoid trips with groups. Shit going down on this next holiday, that rainbow holiday. Um, the Messiah is here. We about to inherit the uh, riches of heaven. 
Um, God about to restore this place. God is about to restore this place. All right. See you guys later. Like this video up. Also, y'all, um, I appreciate all the emails. I've been responding. Um, I appreciate all the love, the likes, the subscribes. Um, they still fucking with my, uh, they, yesterday they tried to take my videos and, and mute them. One of them was mute for a while. Then, then they put them on, um, that is designed for kids. And I didn't even fucking do that. So I couldn't allow comments to come through. I went and changed the shit and everything to allow the comments to come through. And they still have my comments blocked, but it's okay. I know the message is getting out there. They just mad, y'all. It's it's fine, y'all. <laughs> I promise you it's fine. It's fine, y'all. If I have any other messages for y'all today, I will be back to make you guys a video. Um, Enjoy Memorial Day, my motherfucking warriors of gods. This is our motherfucking day. Turn the fuck up. Yes, you are a warrior. <laughs> yeah, it's a different battle. Yeah, okay. It's a different battle. All right, y'all. Well... I will be back if I have any more messages. Peace.